Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start for Buried Structures, Lesson 1, Modeling a Precast Vault. In this Quick Start lesson, I'm going to guide you in creating the shown precast vault. In order to create a precast vault, we will need to start with the structure. To do this, we will start out by modeling the walls, followed by the top and bottom slabs. To start modeling, we will go to the modeling tab found in the action bar. We're going to draw a rectangle using 3D lines to define the shape. First, choose a base point, and from here, you can either click an arbitrary point or enter in the exact size using the X and Y distances in the command line below. The rectangle command will still be active to use again. Before clicking a starting point, use the command line to enter the distance of the starting point away from the original base point of the rectangle. We will then enter the distances away from the opposite corner. Now that we have the shape of the walls drawn, we will turn these lines into a 3D surface. First, click on the tool and then highlight the lines we are creating a surface out of. We now have a surface we can extrude to make the walls. To extrude, simply click on the command, choose the surface you want to extrude, and then either choose an arbitrary point or specify an exact height in the command line. We now have the walls of the vault modeled, and it's time to start on the top and bottom slabs. To do this, we're going to go up to the box command located right next to the 3D line command. We're going to click on the outside corner of the walls as the base point, moving to the opposite corner. We then can specify the height of the box. We now have the top slab and need to copy this to the bottom for the bottom slab by simply using the copy command. Our next step would be to union the parts together to make them one. Inside AllPlan, there is a complete set of Boolean tools where you can find the union command. Simply click on the union command, highlight the elements you want to turn into one, and hit escape. You can now see we have one solid element. The next step would be to add some openings into our structure. We will do this by creating a negative cylinder extrusion by first clicking Extrusion, choosing the cylinder from the dialog box, then choosing the surface to start from. Then we need to specify the start point using our track points from the midpoints to find the center. Once you click on the center, you can then specify the diameter of the cylinder and then the height of the cylinder extrusion. You can see it automatically creates the holes we are going for. Now we need to create the rectangular openings using the extrusion command. But this time we will choose the negative rectangular extrusion tool and continue in the same fashion by selecting the surface to start from finding the center point, make sure to choose the center point, and then specifying the size of the rectangle in the command line below.
and then defining the height or length of the extrusion. Now we can move to splitting it into two pieces with a joint. We're going to do this using a 3D polyline to draw the shape of the joint. We then draw a rectangle around the path we want the joint profile to follow. Now move the rectangle and the profile to the desired location of the joint. Now we're going to choose the command Extrude Along Path. Click on the object you want to extrude and then the path along which you want to extrude. Press Escape to end the command. Now that the joint is defined, let's clean it up a little bit by erasing the original profile and the rectangle we drew. We select the item we want to keep first, and then the item we want subtracted out. We now successfully created a two-piece precast vault. In our next lesson, we will go over how to place in lifting inserts.